Hi students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and Module 3 on Reactive Chemistry. We're going to continue our look at metals in this particular video by focusing on some examples of the reactions between metals and acids. So metal and acids are again a type of chemical reaction where we can simplify a lot of these reactions into a general form. Our general form is that any metal placed in a dilute acid which creates a reaction will produce a salt and hydrogen gas. Now not all metals will do this just as we saw with the previous video uh, in the reactions between metals and water. Uh, sometimes the water needs to be heated, sometimes um, in fact changed from a liquid to a gas in order for the metals to react and even then sometimes they still don't. As far as acids are concerned, we do have two different types of acids. We have concentrated acid and dilute acid. Concentrated acids is something we will look at a little bit later in the course. Um, but for this particular focus, we're just going to look at some of the reactions of the more active metals with dilute acids. So one simple example might be to place some magnesium uh, into hydrochloric acid which is a solution dissolved in water and the salt is going to be magnesium chloride again uh, aqueous and hydrogen gas as always we make sure that we balance our equation and what we can see then is the the uh, metal has reacted with the acid in order to produce a salt in this case magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas now this particular type of reaction is also known as a displacement reaction because what's actually happening is that the um, metal, the magnesium, being very reactive or very active is actually pushing the hydrogen ions that are part of the um, acid out of solution. There's a way we can show that with an ionic form of this equation. Now magnesium, when it is a solid, is not uh, in ionic form, uh, but the aqueous solution of acid is. So we can write that as 2H plus and 2Cl minus. I'm going to leave the aqueous, uh, well no I won't actually, I'll put them in because that's lazy and that's teaching you bad habits. Uh, the magnesium now once it's in the solution is uh, ionic form and the chlorine is still there as well. But now the hydrogen is coming out as a gas, and obviously it's not an ion if it's coming out as a gas. Now what this does is it allows us to see that there are two chlorine ions, or chloride ions, on both sides of this uh, arrow. So just as in mathematics, if there are two like terms on either side of an equal sign, you can cancel them out. The same thing happens in chemistry. The difference is we have a specific name for these that are called spectator ions. And so what happens is then our equation then reduces to Mg solid plus 2H plus aqueous goes to Mg2 plus aqueous plus H2 gas. This is what's often happening when you look at these types of reactions between metals and acids. The metal is pushing the um, hydrogen ions out of the solution and uh, we actually say they are displacing those ions out of the solution uh, and they are released as hydrogen gas. It also tells us why certain other uh, metals don't react with acids. If for example we were to add in uh, copper one of the things that we know about copper is copper is a, a, a low activity metal. It is not sufficiently active to push the hydrogen ions out of the solution. In fact, the hydrogen will remain in the solution. Therefore, if the copper cannot enter the solution, it cannot change and we therefore have no reaction. So as we look through our series of reactions between metals and acids, you'll notice that there are certain types of metals that readily react with acids and sometimes quite vigorously, as in fact magnesium does, and others which do not react at all. We need to start putting together a picture of the differences in the reactivity, but we'll do that in a future video. Thanks for watching.